Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this class of the tutorial, I want to show you how you can use uh, the loop easily to make a 3D pattern. As you can see here, we have defined a pattern here, which I'm going to explain. Okay, first of all, I want to show you the base pattern, which we're going to use in our project. And you can see that you can change it easily. Uh, you have to define the pattern you want to repeat in the anomaly plug. So the pattern for this tutorial, as you can see here, is first we're going to go in the minus x direction, and then we're going to go in the y direction, a z direction, uh, again minus y direction, then we will have the x direction and the z direction. This is going to be the z. So what's going to happen is again, we're starting with a minus X, Y and Z. So you just have to define the base pattern with a series of uh, vectors. Okay, to get started from scratch, I'm going to start with these vectors as the base pattern. Okay, uh, now let's assume that we have a point here. So I'm going to go to the params menu, select a point. And this is going to be the starting point. Uh, for the anomaly plugging, what I want to do is to use the loop. Uh, and you can actually use two set of loops. One is the classic, which is going to be like an animation thing. And the fast is what we're going to use because we want to see the final result. So I'm going to say start and end and give the top uh, output to the input. This is going to make the loop. And the only thing we need here is the point so I'm going to give the point to the d0 and also a series of vectors so I'm going to give that vector to here and remember that you have to also add another uh, input uh, for the end and we now if I double click this it's going to be okay so because I want to make this a, a bigger movement I'm going to go to the math multiplication and say for example 12.5 and just multiply that and this is going to be the vector okay now that we have the vector we just have to move this point by the iteration so for example the iteration is uh, between 0 and 10 this is how many iteration we need here and what we want to do is to move the point so this is the point the 0 d0 uh, I'm going to say move and the vector is going to be simply a list item of the pattern so I'm just going to say list item from the set and the index is going to be the counter so the counter output is really great because if you want to select between the pattern it's going to say uh, like uh, here it's going to start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 and when it's 6 uh, it's going to go back to the start and that's because we have the wrap uh, index to list bounds on so just give that a counter to here and then give it to the movement and now we can give it back to the d0 which is the point okay because the vector is not going to change i'm going to give the vector d1 to d1 and the loop is going to work so if i just increase that you can see it's uh, trying to produce the point but because we don't have the record on we just have to right click here and set the record data on and now you can see that the points are being produced uh, let's uh, go here and uh, go to uh, curve and use the polyline and if I give here you can see nothing's happening because we don't have the points in one group and they are in each point is in one group so I'm just have to flatten this and you can see we have it here uh, the starting point is not also adding up so I'm going to just bring this here first give it to the uh, polyline vertices and then sh use the shift key to add that and now we have that point and everything is going to be okay if you want to make it like a NURBS curve you can also do that let's just make a point container the first point the second set of points and now you can see that if you want to make this a NURBS curve this is going to be the final result uh, if you want to make a pipe from it you can simply just give it a pipe And uh, you can also give it a round and uh, just give that a custom preview. Uh, so you can see that we can make this pattern easily by changing this uh, slider. And remember that you can uh, produce different patterns. For example, if I make it like X, Y, Z and just get rid of these. 
patterns, you can make it like this, increase it here, and that's it. So uh, you can use the Anomaly plugin to make the pattern and finally give it a pipe. Uh, instead of the pipe, you can also use the surface uh, multi-pipe and give it to the polyline. Let's increase the note size here. And this will give you more control over the shape. Uh, here you can see that we have the caps. We can make it a round cap. Uh, for the end offset, you can give a number slider from zero to whatever you want. And if I give it a zero, uh, you can see it's going to make it smoother at the ends. So like that. And also the strut size, uh, you can give a number slider to this. And the end offset is going to be different. So you can just play around with these numbers uh, if you want to make different forms. And if you give that, you can see and that's it. So if I just bake that, you will have the multi-pipe, which is a softy surface in Rhino. Uh, also, if you want to learn an advanced lesson about this, uh, I have uh, produced another tutorial uh, below this file. Uh, you can check out our website. And as you can see here, we can control the length and the height of each of these parts. And we're going to use advanced techniques. Uh, we can give this an angle, as you can see here. And at the end, we can also change the width and the height. And also this shelf thing here. So this tutorial is also for Paracourse members. If you want to learn that, you can check down the link below and learn more and thanks for watching remember to like this video subscribe to our channel so you get notified about our new lessons and see you next time bye